Hello to you. My name is Jesse Johnson. This is about permanent magnets, reducing the 100% sliding force down to 2-4% to force. First off, if you are one of those no-can-doers, or one of those it's impossible to make any type of flying craft, or one of those naysayers, it won't work, or one of those let me show you every way that it won't work first before you even try to build it. One of those types, you stay the hell away from my videos. If you have to go through 100 things that won't work to find the two to three things that will work, then that's what you do. Now, I would like you to please look at this. Hold on, I'm going to move the camera. Now, let's continue. These here are permanent magnets. They are ceramic, and you can buy two of them for about $2.50 to $3 at the hardware store. Now, when you pull two magnets apart, when they are face-to-face, -face, just like you see them here, there's two magnets here, they are face-to-face. -face. When you pull them apart, face-to-face, -face, off, off, like this, whoa, and... It takes 100% the force to do so. Now, if you slide them off like this, the force, the 100% force is redistributed along the length of the magnet. When you pull it off like this, the length of the magnet, pulling it off, and it feels as though it's only 25% the force. And that's how it's usually done at magnet companies. Now, if you put the magnet back on top, attracting, the magnets will slide over each other automatically. Oops, let's see, not too much friction there. Let's try it again. A little bit too much friction. Okay, let's do it again. There it is. A little bit too much friction, but if you just do it right, it should go on. There it is. Let it go, and it will slide off because of attraction all by itself. What does this have to do with anything? This is, it means that, that the attraction force of the magnet sliding off over each other if you have less and less friction, or even if the surfaces are not touching where there's no friction, then the attraction force is equal, whoa, equal to the repulsion force. The repulsion force. They are, they are repelling right now. Repelling force. They are equal. And when they are equal, you can do this with them. Okay, here we go. This little, uh, this is a very crude or very, uh, very uh, uh, crude working model. This is attraction with the A. This here is a repulsion with the R. Magnets 1 and 2 go here. Magnets 3 and 4 go here. These are the magnets. One is attraction right here. The other one is repulsion and this is number one magnet here and number three magnet here number two magnet is here number four magnet is here this here is two magnets separated by this wood so that these magnets can have something to go on top of instead of nothing here and it falls all the all, all every way now also on here are two brass two brass uh, wires to, to reduce friction from here to here. There's one here and one here, brass wires. And this here part, this little rectangle here, is to make certain the magnets do not, do not slide side to side. And this here little wheel right here is to do two things, to hold the repulsion magnets down, because you don't have to worry about the uh, magnets here being held down, they're being held down by natural attraction. These here are a natural repulsion, they push up and so I'll push each other away. And so this little wheel does two things, it pushes the magnets down and it uh, reduces the friction as the, the, as the magnets go up under here. Hold on now. Hold on. Let me put a bit of oil on here to make certain there's less and less friction, the least amount of friction in the system, because once you balance these magnets out, the only forces in the system left is frictional forces. You must reduce the frictional force 
down to negligible. That means to inconsequentiality. That's what you must do when you have a system like this. There are three ways to, to reduce the 100% force to 2 to 4%. And that is with repulsion and attraction magnets. Also, the other way is with using all all attraction magnets, but that requires a different setup and a little bit more complex setup. Now, I'm going to put, whoa, I'm going to put this in here, like this, like that. Now, the thing about this is that now I don't have to worry about the, the attraction magnets here sliding and pushing this repulsion magnet because this repulsion magnet is going to push this way, that way. While the attraction magnet goes this way, the repulsion magnet goes that way with equal and opposite force along the same force line. Let's see how this works. Let's try it out. Now, there it is. It will not push itself through automatic. You must push it. And remember, the only thing that you must do in all of this is number one. The only thing is to reduce, reduce the friction to negligible. Once you reduce the friction to negligible, these magnets can be pulled back and forth with, say, a small electric motor. If you get it with extreme precision and tolerance, you can pull the magnets back and forth with almost no, almost no force, almost no force. You have to use some force, but almost, because the main thing that's holding this thing is the friction throughout the, out the system. And that's what I've sought to reduce with using this bar. Mm. Using this bar, which holds both magnets in place, and with oil to reduce the friction with this little wheel. That's what this is, to reduce the friction. Reduce the friction and you can pull these magnets back and forth with very little force and it will not take 100% but approximately 2 to 5 perhaps 7% at the, at the maximum. But that's a, lo a long way from being 100% the force. Now I would like to everybody I would like everybody to have a good day and I want to thank everyone for watching and listening and if you have any questions about what I meant by the, the equality of the attraction and repulsion force this is a very simple working model then you should be you should be able to understand this because all it is is a balancing a canceling out of direction force itself. Now I want to thank everyone for listening and watching and have a good day.